Swenson, Supervisor, Day 3 of Tablet Analysis. We received several stone tablets from a front on time with inscriptions apparently symbolizing the nine realms of the World Tree. Initial analysis shows that the tablet emits an energy field boosting cell regeneration. End of note.
genealogy research, note one. Sarah has shown me a lot of the myths surrounding the ancient objects we have recovered. Just like assumed, most of these stories correspond only a little with the true events of the past. Giants and fire giants are very much like the descriptions, but the Vanir and uh, Acer gods differ a lot from their noble fairy tale versions. Some stories are not even close to as gruesome as they are in real life. More of these stories later. I would have been five seconds late. The demons would have torn you apart. The great Odin spared your life, but I left you broken. But that's okay, because I fixed you. No, you know what? I made you better. Remarkable, isn't it? What? No, 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 you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, my head. Okay, let's see. Speech should be fine. I repaired the tissue. Yeah, I gave the bone structure a checkup as well. And the arm? How does it feel? Strange feeling, isn't it? When it's bonding to you. Huh. I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> anyway, I have much to prepare. You must be Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at her. It's Alice. The injuries she suffered and survived. It's, it's not human. That doesn't mean she's not. Who are you? <coughs> my heart. My, my voice. She even sounds like... Yes. Yes. Uh, I fixed your voice. And your arm. Who are you? What's I'm, going on? I'm Henrik Anderson. The CEO of Borkorp. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> she's, uh, she's up on the surface, Ralph. Unfortunately. You and I are stuck down here. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik! Calm down. The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Fine. Your new arm holds great power. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's based upon ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Jerngeber. You brought uh, a hand with you. Use the Jerngeber to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Now try it. Scan the hand on the table and then use it downstairs. On the lock. I know this is a lot to ask, but we're not taking this lightly. Please, I'll tell you more as you go. frequent. The roots are spreading faster. Please hurry. I'll show you all the things you need to know. as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Ahead of you is your first obstacle. A service hatch that can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. However, Jan Graper can open the tunnels in an unconventional way. But first, you need power. You should find an atrium upgrade in a nearby room. Right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. Insert it in the arm, get back to the service hatch, and fire a burst at it to fry the lock circuits. And don't forget to refill your power with the power station on the wall before you move on. If you collect enough upgrades for Jan Greper, you can activate the weapon inside it. Above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with Jangraper. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder.
Since Yan Greper is relying on atrium power cells, your life might be depending on not running out. There is another, larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times. Collect the power cells. Anytime you want to use them, activate your Bifrost personal display system for instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected. find a door that is locked with an RFID signature you don't have. But now, that won't be a problem for you. It's the same as the earlier electronics, but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse. Use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door and time the burst to get through. seems to be working again. Where were we? Right. Our world, Midgard, is sharing its existence with eight other worlds that are all connected by something known in the legends as Yggdrasil, the world tree. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Absolute, controller of the roots of Yggdrasil. This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Then, something came through one of the roots. A spirit. It took control of the Absolov and our systems, causing an emergency override. The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started spreading. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys, originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. But, Henrik has traveled too much unprotected. He almost died when he saved you and wouldn't survive going through another route. You are literally our only hope of stopping this. Without those keys, the roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will- Sarah. Wait, Henrik, I'm losing connection. Sarah? Shit. Listen, we know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice world. Every moment the roots spread further into Midgard, so find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Please hurry!
Anderson. Dr. Brian Roberts, Nivelheim Operations Supervisor. Minor progress report on Nivelheim Outpost N502. Construction is moving along according to schedule. Procedures after the complete destruction of N498 are implemented and seems to be working. The building is strictly held to crevices. The amount of noise is held to a minimum and outposts are working 24-7 to avoid the attention of the natives. However, the morale is very strained after the 48 casualties at N498. Worst of all are the sounds of the natives. It travels for miles through the infinite night and fog in this death landscape. It just chills you to the core. Outside. I, 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 
Captain, I, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You have to send someone to find another route. My feet are starting to... Oh, 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 no. I can't feel them anymore.
you of Fang Ong. You made it back alive. As, as soon as we lost connection, I thought, I can see you on a camera feed. Ahead of you, in Absolove Research, there's an elevator that you can take to me on floor B1. I've marked the elevator so you can find it with your sight. There's probably a lot of things to explore in Absolove Research, but don't stay for too long. Don't insert the key into the tablet until I've analyzed it. Please hurry. Anderson and my lovely wife. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Anderson. The power of the hammer of the god is on a whole other level than anything discovered before. The hammer is powering the entire facility and is more stable than anything else of this strength. Even the power cells charged with it has a huge amount of power. <laughs> We've decided to call the power Atrium after the creator of the hammer. And not only does Atrium have the attributes described by Henrik, it also has a lot of magical potential. I, uh, I don't know how to describe the phenomena scientifically, but Atrium has a terrifying effect on certain creatures from the myth that are affiliated with darkness. When it was wielded by Thor, it must have had an enormous destructive capacity. No wonder the gods are described as feared by everyone in the Nine Realms. gods from the myths, which seem to have ties to the things we are retrieving from the other worlds. We have items from Odin, the Allfather, and his son Thor, the god of lightning. We have also found proof of the existence of the immortal Baldur and Freya, the goddess of fertility. And we have some leads on Hel, the goddess of death. Mimir, the keeper of the Well of Wisdom, and... and Loki. The god of mischief. But that one worries me a bit.
some difficulties maneuvering the other eight worlds of Yggdrasil to find the artifacts that we need. That is, until now. Henrik found out that magical beings can see on a spectrum that is invisible to mere mortals. And with artifacts and knowledge brought home from Vanaheim, Henrik has managed to infuse this magic into an augmented reality implant, making the spectrum visible to the user. And this is an amazing leap forward to unlock the secrets that these worlds are holding from us.
something entered our world and it's speaking to us from the machines. The conversations among the crew are turning into fanatic gibberish. They're talking about higher beings from beyond the roots, about eternal life and ascension through the knowledge of the spirit in the machine. I fear what might come out of this. I'm heading to the surface right away before this madness spirals completely out of control.
Thank you. 